this is, this is Lazy Mode, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about crafting in the world of Biomutant. I want to clear up a lot of misinformation that's out there. I've seen a ton of crafting videos, and I wanted to hold back my crafting video until I actually had hands-on with the game, and I knew what I was talking about before just making videos just to make videos. So I'm here to tell you guys we already have our hands-on with this game. We've been playing the game for a while now. We know how crafting works, but I wanted to give you guys as much information as you possibly can have without breaking any rules or breaking any NDA, so you guys can get a better idea of how crafting works in Biomutant. Today, we're just going to be covering armor, but on our next video, we're going to be covering weapons. The reason I broke these two down is because the crafting system is very extensive in the game, and I wanted to give you guys the best overall opinion and the best overall understanding of how you could go about crafting when it comes to Biomutant. So if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated, and let's talk about armor crafting in Biomutant. As you guys may already know, one of the biggest important factors when it comes to RPGs is being able to craft. And one of the cool and positive things I can tell you about the game is that this game actually did something right that a lot of games have done wrong. And that is allowing you to craft wherever you are. You do not have to go to a specific village. You do not have to go to a specific town or talk to a specific NPC in order to actually craft. You could craft from anywhere in the world. Let's say you're in a fight and you want to craft your grape. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but you could definitely go ahead and craft from there. So you're able to craft right off the fly. You're able to access the crafting menu from within any section of the game, which makes it really dope. Now, what exactly are you able to craft? Now, let's go ahead and talk about that. So there are a total of nine different components your character can use. Out of these nine components, you're only able to craft into seven. The two that you're not able to craft into is the back and, of course, the face wear. If you're wearing a face, you could wear a face mask, you could wear a backpack, but you cannot craft into the, any of these two items. The only items you're able to craft into are the head, the left shoulder, the right shoulder, the torso, the legs, the left, main hand, and the off hand. Now, the main hand and the off hand, you're able to craft weapons into them and actually add add ons to these. For gear-wise or armor-wise, you're going to be looking at the head, left shoulder, right shoulder, torso, which is the jacket, and legs, which are the pants. So one thing that you need to understand in order of crafting is you're going to need materials in order to craft. There are a total of six different materials that you're going to need. Not all the time you're going to need these six materials, but the higher the rarity the item is, the more materials you're going to need to the point where you're going to need almost all six materials. So let's start off with the first material so you can get acquainted with it. The first one is going to be metal. The second one is going to be wood. The third one is plastic. Fourth one is rubber. And the fifth one is electronics in addition to the currency, which is the leaf currency. Now, out of these particular items, the question you might be asking, Laser, that sounds pretty dope, but I mean, how do I get more of these materials? Well, there's going to be multiple options of you being able to get this. The first option, you're going to be able to find crates that have materials in it. The uh, second option, which is I think is the one that everybody's going to be farming, and we're definitely going to have a farming method for you guys on how to farm these materials, is within the world, there are uh, kind of like towers that are stacked up with this with any set of materials. So there'll be like wood, but, you know, wood towers, rubber towers, plastic towers. All you have to do is walk up to these towers, hit them a couple times with a punch, pam, 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 pam. You're going to knock them down, and it's going to give you a certain amount of materials. Now, unfortunately... For me playing the game, the materials it gives you is very limited, but they are very they're very predominant in the world. So you shouldn't be lacking too much materials. In addition to that, whenever you break down a component or an item, you will get the materials from that item you're breaking down. So that's another really good way to have to uh, you know figuring out whenever you have find a piece in the world that you don't like or don't want, you just dismantle it and you will get those items to pop for you. Now. What happens when you want to craft? So let's say I want to craft this jacket, which is a torso. You're going to click on that. You're going to see the, the, the seven little uh, circles in front of the character. Click on the one you want to click on and select the item you want. Once you select the item you want, you need to hit F if you are on the, you know, if you are on PC or if you're in control, you're going to hit A. Uh, and that's going to go ahead and pop up the actual item you want to craft into. Now, when you craft into the item, depending on what item you get, you're going to have different circles that are going to pop in front of that item. Now, these particular circles identify different add-ons you're able to add onto, add onto that specific jacket or craft into it or modify. In addition to that, one thing that you got to pay very close attention to, and it's extremely important, is this right here because there are three different stats each item will always have 
with an additional of a fourth one, which is going to be elements, which if you haven't seen my elemental video, highly recommend you guys check that out. But some components or some items are able to come and drop with different element types. So you have, you fire. have fire, cold, and all the elements. Now, in addition to that, guys, like I said, these could drop with one of these if you pick a certain item, if it drops with a really high rarity. But in addition to that, you could even add that into the item if you have the components. So these are going to be really important. Rarity, quality, and material are extremely important to rememberize. And remember that those are the three main factors that make an item. So when you want to craft an item, let's see what we're able to do. So if we wanted to go ahead and craft a, uh, a, a, a make an add-on to this particular item, we would click the item. And within that item, it's going to let us select different add-ons. Now, like I said, these different add-ons are all going to be found within the world. So the more crates you open, the more enemies you defeat, the more places you explore in the world, the more add-ons you will have for this jacket. Now, the cool thing about this is that each add-on add add has its own rarity. So the more of that rarity we add to that specific item, the higher the rarity is going to go. So for uh, video purposes, let's say I want I hover over this purple one. We have Uncommon, Defunct 2, and Composite 1. Now, we go in here, and I wanted to craft this one. As you guys see here, uh, the only thing that changed here are the rarity, which is saying it went to impressive. It it kept the, the same quality, but it gave us a different material called Rock Coated 2. Now, another thing that I need you to notice when we hover over this particular item as well is that we look at the crafting cost. So we look at the crafting cost. It's going to tell us that we need one metal, one piece of wood in order to be able to craft this item into this particular jacket. Now, let's take a quick other, other view that we're actually seeing here is that once we go ahead and craft, if we were to craft this item into this jacket, you're going to notice that our armor goes from 11 all the way to 16. So it is increasing our armor and not anything else. So that is one way you guys can go about it. So let's say we want to go and do this one right here, which is a yellow variant and giving us a different rarity. As you guys see right here, it moves the rarity to remarkable. Remarkable. It keeps the same quality, but the material changes to meta. Now, what also changes is the crafting cost. The crafting cost now went from having one metal and one wood to having one, one metal, one plastic, and one rubber. Now, of course, all of these materials are going to be scattered around the world, and the higher you progress, the more of certain materials you're going to be able to get. So it's extremely important that you guys go ahead and loot everything you possibly can in the game in order to be able to craft into that item. Now, as you guys see right there, my armor went from 11 to 20, and if I were to keep going down here, and I would go to this one right here, my armor keeps going up, and the cost of the item keeps going up as well, and you guys will notice that keeps going changing. Now, if I were to add another component... I'm only going to have the certain components that I have in the selection add-ons to craft that weapon. So it's extreme to that craft that armor, I should say. It's extremely important you guys loot as much as you can because in order for you guys to make a really awesome, awesome looking piece or having a really awesome piece of armor, it's going to be extremely important that you guys craft in the right stuff into your character. One thing I do like about the game that it shows you how much crafting components you're going to actually need in order to get that. So for example, if you're working on a build and you want to have a lot of Kai energy, or you want to have a lot of health, then you can kind of spec have your specific armor set for that. Another really cool thing is that the game gives you five different slots for armor. So I could go ahead and equip this character and say, this is a character that I'm only going to play whenever I go to a, a zone that has a lot of fire, or this is the only character that I'm going to play that only has, it's going to be resistant to cold. And I could actually slot five different slots of different armor to have it ready for whenever I go to a certain area which makes it really cool. Now, I know one of the questions you probably might be asking, Laser, how do I go ahead about actually being able to get items? Well, the best way to actually get items is to explore the world, open crates, defeat bosses, defeat, uh, talk to NPCs as much as you can to get unique items to be able to craft into. And there you guys have it, guys. That is how armor crafting works in Biomutant. I hope you did find this video helpful and informative. If you did, do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a like, drop a comment. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Don't forget to check out our weapon crafting video that's going to be coming out very soon. If you guys have any questions regarding crafting for the armor for Biomutant, let me know in the comment section down below. We will be more than happy to answer those for you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video.